The uh, tradition of the Chickasaw, the way they taught us, is to perfect what you're doing. And, uh, and I'm proud to show my stuff like this because I am proud of it. And uh, it, it was instilled to me, if you're gonna do something, do it right and do the best that you can. I'm Melvin Burris. I'm Chickasaw artist of basket making and uh, jewelry making. The rope baskets that I use are old ropes that uh, ropers use for team roping. The ropes come from our heritage as uh, Chickasaw ranchers used them, uh, roping calves, and uh, it's, it's in our history. They're unique, and the first time I made one, I said, it's just a rope basket that I made. They said, it's art. On my jewelry, I was just playing with it one day, and uh, one of the girls seen what I made, and she says, where did you get that at? And I said, I made it. And she said, oh, no, no. And I said, yeah. It's to teach our, uh, our younger kids that if you have a vision and you, you want to do it, to try it. And that's what I did later in life, and it works. The history of the beady goes back to the painted rock, the flowers that they used, all different kind of things. And now we have uh, turquoise and we have the red coral. We have a lot of man-made stones and uh, it, it's really nice to use some of the stuff that we have now. When, when I'm making jewelry, it's important to have all your tools laid out to where you can get to them and you know right where they're at. And what you do is uh, you lay the beadwork out that you're gonna work with. This bead right here is what they call white buffalo. It's a white turquoise. It's a real good quality of uh, turquoise. And the black is a black onyx. And it's a, it's a smaller bead, but it works real good. And the kind of wire I use, it's a coated wire and it's, it makes it easier to work with and it lasts a lot longer. And you take two little crimp silver beads and you take two clasps, the male and the female, and you put your crimp beads on and you take the crimpers and that's what makes your crimp beads right there. And then you start beading. Now, when you get to the end of the uh, necklace, my signature is a feather on every piece of jewelry that I make. The pride that I have in my heritage is from my grandmother and grandfather. My grandmother was full of a Chickasaw, and she taught us the Chickasaw ways. And I, I'm glad they did because I took it to heart, and I'm teaching my kids most of what they taught me.